Can anything actually be done to stop deep fake porn from spreading? Like the fake AI generated photos of Taylor Swift that went viral on X. Well, the answer might be found in spam email. Here's why. So right now, lawmakers racing to try to stop this explosion in non-consensual AI porn. But one hard truth about this is that technologically, this stuff is incredibly hard to stop. With. There are two issues at play that makes combating it a challenge. One is how AI creates the images. The other is how those images are spread. Let's talk about the first, this explosion in AI image generation that we've seen. So in response, tech companies who make AI products like Stable Diffusion, they've done things like removing adult images from their training sets to make it hard to output adult images. But the problem is, is that right now you don't need some fancy server farm and cutting edge technology to make AI deepfakes. Open source image generators exist on people's own computers. The toothpaste here is out of the tube. So then there is the question of how those images spread. And the Taylor Swift fake images that spread rapidly on X, they were viewed tens of millions of times. Those along with other deep fake pornographic images are actually outlawed by the site and yet they still spread. So ideally you wanna build something that could automatically detect it and then block any images that happen to get through the cracks. The problem though, is that reliably detecting what is and isn't an AI image turns out to be really hard. A lot harder than just making the AI images themselves. And a lot of companies right now are working to create deep fake detector technology. But as that technology improves, so does the AI images themselves. So without any reliable automatic detection that works at scale, the best hope right now is to block the spread of those images. But AI is so cheap and easy to use that even if one image is identified as bad, at like the Taylor Swift images, someone can take that and then pump out a million slightly different variations. It, there are other approaches. With Taylor Swift, X has now limited searches to make it harder to find them. But those kind of heavy handed limitations can only go so far. So is there anything we can actually do? Well, looking in the past, there actually is one example that does give hope. Experts I talked to said, the best case scenario in combating non-consensual AI porn could be what happened to email spam. So back in the 90s, email spam cluttered everyone's mailboxes, and it seemed like this intractable problem that was impossible to fix. The amount of mail being generated will bring down the system. Then things changed. Technologically, companies like Google developed advanced filters to weed them out. Laws were changed, and the companies behind spam emails became liable for big fines and criminal penalties. So a lot of companies are racing to solve the cat and mouse technological problem. Can their efforts, combined with legal action, replicate the success of email spam filters? Well, for targets of non-consensual AI imagery like Taylor Swift, the need for it to work is arguably far more urgent.